Hey guys, in this video I am going to give a step by step tutorial on how to make this cool DIY smart glasses. If you haven't watched my first video which explains all the features of it, please watch it. So let's get started. So the things you are going to need for this project are two highlighters, an OLED display, 3.7 volt lipo battery, a micro pin header, a tiny switch and another switch with three pins in it, a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, two Arduinos, you can use two for Pro Mini or two Arduino Nano and a DS3231 RTC module and a 5-way tactile switch this is a jo like a mi micro joystick and a wire connector and wire port and you will need a makeup compact with built-in mirror in it and you will need an acrylic sheet so let's get started now first take your makeup compact and open the makeup compact and take your lighter and start heating up from the bottom wait for a few minutes and the mirror will come off now we have to cut the mirror to finish our project now take your mirror and draw lines on the mirror where you want to cut the mirror okay. now you can cut this at home if you have a mirror cutter if you don't you can also get it to a shop and get it cut after cutting the mirror your mirror should look something like this I got it cut from a local mirror cutting shop. Now the size of the mirror is equivalent to the OLED display. So now keep the mirror aside. Now take your acrylic sheet. Now I don't have an acrylic sheet so I'm using an old pen case. You can use any uh, plastic that is transparent or clear. Now we have to cut the acrylic sheet according to this template. So this is how the prism will look, here the OLED will be there and this is a diagonal plastic or acrylic and this is two pieces of acrylic here and there and this is the mirror or this and there will be a 2.8cm uh, square around the top and the bottom. Now I'll show you the template of how the project will look. So this is the template. So there are two squares and this is the diagonal acrylic and these are the two uh, rectangles on the front and the back. So now you have to get all of this cut on the acrylic sheet. After cutting all the pieces, it should look something like this. Now we have to glue it together. Take the first piece and wipe it off with some tissue paper so that it does not have that unclear stuff on it. And then take your super glue and glue it on the square panel. Like this. So after sticking this, uh, it should look something like this. Now take your mirror and wipe it off with a tissue paper and stick it to the prism. Like this. Take the other square piece and glue the bottom and then stick it on top of it like this and 
Now take this and then stick it on top of this. Now wait for few minutes. Take out the other piece and then stick that on top. Now wait for a few minutes. After the glue had dried, now we are finished making the prism. So this is how it should look. Now keep it aside. So now take all the components and we are going to need a plastic sheet to make the case for the project. The template for cutting out the plastic sheet is in the description. Now we have to solder all the components together with the help of thin wires like this. Use as thin wires as possible that makes the project compact. Now solder all the components according to this diagram. So after you have wired up all of this, it looks kinda like a junk. Now take your CD box, this is what we are gonna use for our case for our project. So I have took my CD box. Now we have to cut the CD box up to like 1.5 centimeters long. So now I have cut the CD box. Now this is the case for our project. You can open it. Now we have to stick all the electronical components inside this. Now let's hot glue each piece inside this one by one. Okay. So now that we have hot glue two Arduinos here and two a switch here. So this function this switch functions as a single switch for both of these two. So whenever you turn this on, this also goes like that and when you turn this like that, this goes like that. So I have stick the uh, OLED display over here, so it looks something like this. Now we have to hot glue the battery on top of the OLED screen, like this. So after the hot glue has dried, now hot glue the RTC module to the object right above the uh, battery. Wait for a few minutes till the hot glue dries. So okay, so the last thing we have to glue is the 5-way tactile switch. So I have already drilled a hole here for the tactile switch to go through. Now let's hot to it. Make sure it comes out through the hole and let it stick for a while. Okay, so now that we have connected the joystick, turn it around. Now we need three pieces of plastic sheet which we are going to use to cover the uh, box so I have one with two holes in it this for the charger port and this for the Arduino port now keep it like this and now we have to hot look this piece over here and then stick this right on top so that now we have like this okay so now that we have hot loop this side do the same on the other side take the other piece and hot loop Now wait for 
see. Now after you have glued both the sides, this and this, now we have to take the final piece. I have cut two slits here for the two switches. So we have to keep it like this. So that this switch goes here and this switch goes here. So now take your hot glue and then hot glue it. Now wait for a few minutes till the hot glue dries. So after we have glued the top part, now we are almost done. Our project should be finished and we just have to attach the prism. Now just turn on the switch and check if it works. So it works. This is the clock and we have the button on the back side. If you press the button, you should see the... Let me focus this. So you should get the temperature, uh, humidity. Now this switch is to turn on the game. If you switch this to the left side and wait for a few minutes, uh, you will get my logo and the ping pong game should start. If you want to play the game, uh, turn this switch up and down. So now that we have finished our casing and fixed all the electronical components inside it, now take your prism and now we have to attach the prism right over here. To do that, cut 4 pieces of plastic like this. I have the template of this in the description. So now take your hot glue gun and hot glue this piece over here. Now take this piece and hot glue it over here. And then hot glue here. And then stick this piece over here. Then take the last piece and glue it on top of it. So after you have made this, hot glue on the bar case and then stick this over here like this. Wait for the glue to dry and then take your prism and hot glue it again and stick this over here and wait for it to dry. After the prism has dried, now we have almost finished everything. Now just take a ball of hot glue like this and then stick it to the 5 way tactile switch like this now our joystick is finished Now take your highlighter and take out the cap and cut the cap right over here. After you have cut it, it should look something like this. Now do the same with the pink one also. Now take your hot glue and hot glue this here.
and then glue the pink one also nearby like this. 